Founded in 1981, the American International School of Guangzhou was the first international school in South China. Initially, AISG served a handful of students from the United States Consulate, but today enrolls nearly a thousand students from over 40 nations. AISG is a non-profit, co-educational day school with instructional programs from preschool through grade 12. We are an IB World School with an emphasis on technology integration and an inquiry-based approach to learning. The city of Guangzhou is the third largest in China, a modern metropolis of over 12 million people with a tropical climate and a unique blend of modern and traditional life. We hope that this video will provide some helpful insight into why so many people enjoy working, living, and learning at AISG. Before I came to Guangzhou, I've been international teaching since 1984. Been in the Philippines, Japan, Kazakhstan, Peru, Saudi Arabia, Hong Kong, and now I'm here. Okay, I live in Zhujiang, Shenzhen. I love my apartment. I have a view of the river and the tower. It's just gorgeous. Um, before that, I lived in Tianha, which is where most of the new teachers live. Uh, both of the neighborhoods have lots of variety. There's uh, many different kinds of restaurants from every ethnic group you could think of. I live on Asha Island. It takes me five minutes to get to school. I cross this beautiful park. The flowers get changed every two weeks. Fresh, beautiful, gorgeous. I do have household help. Um, in Guangzhou, it's called having an IE. And it makes my teaching life so much easier. I never had full-time um, care before I came to China. So that means I had childcare after school automatically, five days a week. You can opt to have an IE stay on Saturdays. Meals are made for me, food is bought for me, house is cleaned, it's amazing. My family life has been phenomenal. Um, we can bike to school. So up until last year, both my children and I bike to school every day. It's My kids have places to run and, and be outside. I live in a gated community where security guards are looking out for the welfare of my children. I feel it's extremely safe. Kids have other friends nearby that they can play with. It's great. Well, for me this year, the most fun I'm having is I work in, uh, I, I play drums in three professional bands. Many, many opportunities for playing and a lot of excellent professional musicians from all over the world. Well, there's a lot, I mean, there's homework. <laughs> and there's also Grandview Mall, which a lot of kids hang out at because there's like movie theater and a lot of other restaurants that are cheap, but the food is good, so we go there and hang out too. Um, this Saturday, we just came back from the furniture market. Uh, we'll take the teachers to the kitchen market here, which is wholesale, hotel quality uh, pots and pans, and it's just fabulous. Um, we go to a lamp market. We'll take them to Fushan. Uh, this year, we want to try to, there's a, a little village between here and Sunchen. Um, that paints, reproduction paintings, we want to try that. I was very surprised. It, it felt a lot like Florida, as far as the climate goes. Um, the sky was, is often blue. You, know, you can go out and you can walk around and, and people are interested in, in you and what you're doing, but, but it's, not, it's not overwhelming. I would say the school has really been accommodating to my family situation and I felt very, very, very welcomed. Um, the package in terms of with the insurance, uh, just the travel and also the moving expenses, they, they put into consideration my entire family. I know that I would not be able to find a similar package uh, in other schools uh, of this level. So I'm very, very pleased and grateful for it. Within a, a three-hour range, a three-hour flight range around Guangzhou, there's so much to see, uh, so much to discover. As as educators, you know, you just lap up the history and the and the uh, the culture uh, that's out there that's the, that Asia has to offer. My colleagues are incredibly helpful. They've been 
friendly and there for me from the start. Also, they're funny, uh, and that's important to have in colleagues, so we can laugh. They're awesome. They're really, really cool. You can feel free to go up and just talk to them about whatever, whenever, and it's like, they're really, really good at teaching, obviously, but then they can give you really, really good advice, too. The students are spectacular. I, like, they're so well behaved. We just went on a field trip out to the Chen Family Temple last week, and this Canadian guy happened to wander over, and he's like, are you a school teacher here? And I was like, yeah, actually, these are my fourth graders. And he stares at the kids, and they're like sitting down, sketching um, the buildings, and like turning and talking to each other about what they're learning that day. And I'm kind of standing back, and I'm listening, and I'm bopping around. But he looked at me, and he was just like, they are so well behaved. to say that I have probably grown more as an educator in the last two and a half years than I have in probably the 10 previous years. One of the things I really like is the administrators are uh, willing to allow you to be a risk taker and willing to allow you to try something and then eh, that didn't quite work. But you know, allowing us to learn from opportunities and not be afraid to take a risk and, and uh, try new things. And I really enjoy that part of working here. The school has been really, ha really, um generous and deliberate with their professional development. Uh, they want to train teachers, they want the best teachers they can, but it's all focused on uh, our tasks at hands, you know, whether it's technology, IB training, um, here literacy in the elementary school, uh, you know, things like that. It's been deliberate and focused to help you be the best you can be. We collaborate and we, we plan lessons that use technology in authentic ways. So I think it's an, it's an important aspect of the classroom and it becomes one of those indispensable tools that teachers have in their arsenal and they use it. And it, it has a motivational aspect for the kids. It allows them to do things that are impossible without connecting them to the outside world. You know, where I was just talking with a teacher today who was thinking about having a Skype interview with one of the authors that she's reading to the kids. And I was going, now that would be awesome. Let's do it. And you know, we've used, uh, we've gone and joined the Flat Classroom Project this year in grades four and in grade five. And that allows the kids to, to connect with other schools around the world. We couldn't have done that without technology. Adjectives. 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 About what? Okay, wait, wait, okay. Fill in the blank. Community. Enthusiastic. Creative. Like it surprises you. Fun! It's a fun school. Accepting. Awesome. AISG rocks! <laughs> yeah. AISG is a pearl. And a pearl is oftentimes hidden. And this school is like a hidden pearl.